Why? Michael, please read the story to me. It is called The Sky is Falling. Is the sky really falling? asked Nancy anxiously. No, Nancy, said Michael, taking the book from her. The sky is not falling. Michael, what is the sky and what is it made of? asked Nancy. The sky is a vast space above the surface of the earth. It looks like a dome and the atmosphere is an important part, said Michael. What is atmosphere? asked Nancy. Michael drew a picture and explained. The atmosphere is a layer of gases that surrounds the earth. 78% of the earth's atmosphere is nitrogen and 21% is oxygen. There are other gases, but they are present in much smaller quantities. The earth's atmosphere has five layers, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Each layer is important. As we go higher, the air gets thinner and thinner. They looked at the pictures in the book and then at the sky outside. So, where does the sky end? asked Nancy. The layers extend more than 1000 kilometers from the surface of the earth, Michael replied. Nancy wondered how long she would take to reach the end of the last layer. Do you know why the sky changes color and becomes dark at night? asked Michael. Is it dark because the earth is not facing the sun at night? Nancy asked. That's right. Let me first explain why the sky changes color. Sunlight is actually a combination of the colors of a rainbow. However, the sky usually appears blue because Molecules of air scatter the blue more than the other colors. The sky becomes dark at night because at night the part of the earth we are on doesn't face the sun, Michael replied. That is amazing, Michael. How are clouds formed? Nancy asked. Clouds are formed because of the water cycle. Due to heat from the sun, Water from the oceans and lakes evaporates and turns into vapor. When warm air rises, it expands and then cools. Some of the vapor condenses into tiny droplets of water. When billions of these droplets come together, a cloud is formed. When these clouds become heavy with the weight of the water, we have rain showers. Michael does the sky look the same from all the planets? Nancy asked. No, Nancy. On most planets, the sky would look dark because there is no atmosphere to scatter the sunlight. I can see the sky meet the Earth's surface. Where do they actually meet? Asked Nancy. They do not meet at all. The line at which the Earth's surface and the sky appear to meet is called the horizon, smiled Michael. Michael, why doesn't the sky fall down? The sky cannot fall down, Nancy, as it is a mixture of gases. Only rain or snow falls from the sky. I want to explore the sky, said Nancy. The children then spent the rest of the day dreaming about hot air balloon rides. The end.